Hey everyone, uh, thrilled to be back with our friend Christina Anastasia, a certified master life coach. And Christine, we've chatted before and you know, any time of year our conversation with you is appropriate, but I know right now we're in what I call the August anxiety. The emails are coming, the schedule starting. I can speak for my family, it's time for that structure, but it does come with the, oh, here we go again. So what are you seeing? What are you promoting with people? How are you encouraging people to enter the, the fall, which is a reset for a yeah, lot of us? Absolutely. So I always think of the fall as a period where a lot of working parents um, and families need like a bit of a massage going into like the next couple weeks into school. Um, and so with a lot of my clients, like what I encourage, you know, families and working parents to do, and you can do this just like we have a couple days until we start the school year, is to really get a sense of like, what does your fall look like in terms of September to December? And what that means is what does your day-to-day -day schedule look like? Like, how are you taking care of yourself? Maybe it's two to three times a week just to start. Yep. And then what do your weekends look like? Are, are all of the kids' activities sort of like loaded and locked? Um, do you have any downtime in the weekend at all? Like yeah. from September to December, do you like downtime? Um, and also taking a look at like pre-decisions on holidays and like when a lot of birthday parties come in, uh, Aunt Susie's 80th party, like how many things are going to be what you want to do on a weekend so we're sort of not just yesing our way we're through learning the fall. how to say no That's yeah. yeah and like yeah. building some awareness around like you can do this with your partner or yourself just to say like what are the things i'm going to say yes to on the weekends and if there are three birthday parties and an engagement like i might be saying no to the three birthday parties going to the one thing and then we have the kids activities <laughs> i like how you use the phrase pre-decision because i think what I hear when you say that is a boundary, mm -hmm. right? And I think sometimes boundaries feel so slam the door, yeah. right? They feel stronger than maybe it's comfortable. I, I don't know how I'm trying to phrase it, but I like the pre-decision of just setting that up for your yeah. family because it's easy to get pulled. Absolutely. And like there. family schedules, like everybody has like either Google Calendar or some app with like everything loaded in with kids' activities. Yeah. Sometimes there's more activities for the kids than the downtime or like how do you take care of yourself so yeah. it's also like loading and locking like where do we put yourself in so you're not just like shooting from the hip like I think there's a lot of young families that also have a lot of FOMO like you you want to do the right thing you want to try to go to a lot of different things but it also that there's a cost of that yeah. like when you're burned out and you're just like uh oh, we're just you know shooting from the hip trying to do all these things and it's like if nothing changes, nothing changes. You're attacked right now. <laughs> but you're right. You're definitely speaking the language of whether it's working parents or, or at home parents. Like we're all yeah. working through schedules. Yeah. You know, and the burnout's real, but you're right. Trying to fit everything in and sort of analyzing, not wanting to miss right. what's going on. So <clears throat> setting up, loading the calendar, pre decisions. I like that. Pre decisions, boundaries. I guess we call yeah. it either. Is there anything that's fall specific? that you think is encouraging for, or, or that you specify for any different time of year? Well, I think it's like, um, like really simplifying. Like I think sometimes we overcomplicate our schedules and like what we do. It's like, first things first, like I think, you know, if, if you're looking to work on yourself as a working parent, where are you first? Yeah. Like day to day or just weekly and like, let's find the magic middle. Like it doesn't have to be five days a week or seven days a week of working out or doing something for yourself. Like find 20 minutes a day yep. and then like secondly the the schedules on the weekends and just the overall fall it's busy yeah so it's like the pockets of time like are, is it important for your family to have downtime because everyone's doing the same thing you're food shopping you're getting organized for the week so you have to like carve it out and be really intentional so I think it's you know getting intentional about your family schedule and then like third you know, let go a little bit of the uh, having to like keep up. Like a, a lot of the people viewing this might be like, well, I don't know if I can do that. I can't let my Aunt Susie down or I can't let all these people in town that know me. But at the end of the day, if you want to feel good and you want to sort of like live your life a little bit more intentionally with joy, say yes to the joy stuff and the other stuff. Take the chaos away yeah. from your family. Yeah, yeah and, you'll, you and you'll get yeah. back to like other things. Like I think the summer people, they find the joy, they lean into the things they want to do, and then the fall comes and you're just kind of shooting from the hip saying yes. Yeah. And I think we can sort of 
we can craft our fall, but it's going to have some boundaries and a little bit of massaging, you know, what you take in or what you want to do. Sure. Well, I think we're, many of us are guilty of, we plan everything else. So if we don't plan sort of that self-protection time, and I know the term self-care and yeah. joy, some people feel like there's a, a um, little some people feel, feel like, yeah, it's too far of a reach, but I think what happens is, is we shoot from the hip and we get stuck in that snowball and all of a sudden you look and you're, you're too far gone, yep. right? And it's at the expense of your mental and physical right. and emotional health. And so if you can keep it, you know, I always tell people, you don't have to go zero to a hundred. Right. Because that average is 50. Right. Right? So right. if you could even operate at 75, you're still bad at it. Right. If it feels too unattainable or like it's a far reach to get self-care or well-being, come up with three things. Like, do you like to walk? Is it a run? Is it just like... Um, you know, doing something simple so your mind has options. So when you can't get to, you know, the walk or is it a meditation or something like that where it doesn't have to get derailed. Yeah. Because I know like a lot of people that work online or they're remote, like they do 20 minute workouts like in their bedroom or like wherever, just like stop the, do the timer and that's it. That's what you get. But you're not forgetting about yourself. You're sort of pausing and yeah. like taking that step. Um, and it's really like, not shaming yourself or like getting getting yourself down about like if it doesn't happen it's just like all right how do we rework it the next day but if it's a goal you have to you might need support or accountability sure. um so yeah i have that one page if that's interesting to people to just like have a place to start i'm all about like simple like sometimes it's like you got to drown out all the noise of like the shoulds and what things you should be doing you yeah know? yeah Christine, if someone wanted to um, contact you, um, I know you've done different workshops, you mm -hmm. do uh, private uh, appointments, what should they know in terms of getting in touch with you, what services you Yeah, offer? absolutely. So my website is christineanastasia.com. Um, you can book a free discovery call with me if you want to chat and sort of see if one-on-one -on -one coaching aligns for you. Um, and I also do workshops for companies as well, but that's a good place to start. Like in 20 minutes, like there might be some tips or things that sort of move the needle for you. But a lot of it is just like getting back to basics, being really intentional and um, having like boundaries, but like ones that feel good for you. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, I know some of the stuff we've talked to you about before. And like I said, some of it seems like the, the things you're hearing, but I love the idea of, of you offering services and support, which just lines up with make a little bit more of a plan for your family. Right. right. The old adage, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. So right. You to protect yourself. Right because we all know the, the tornado we end up in. Yeah, absolutely. And, um, and the fall is busy. I mean, uh, none of this stuff is easy. Like when you actually look at the logistics of, you know, the after work activities and the weekends, it's, um, you have to kind of get straight with your priorities and your values with your family. And it might not align with like your friends and like other, other folks. But at the end of the day, when you're going into Thanksgiving and Christmas and you're not like toast, yeah, I think it's worth Holiday it. Burnout. Yeah, yeah. Well, valuable insight, and I know it's just a, a sliver of yeah, what you offer absolutely. and things you talk about. So, if you're looking to get in touch with Christine, want to have a discovery call, her information will be on your uh, your screen. We're always thrilled to have you as a trusted Thank friend you. and resource here in Rentham. Um, feel free to reach out. Thank, Thank you so much.